Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hi. Hello, how are you? I, uh, <laughs> fine. <laughs> how was your weekend? It was, uh, it was, um, it was quiet and I can rest. And that is great. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. And how's, how's the weather like in your city? Is it raining? Yes, it was, uh, it was raining the weekend. All right. And how about yes. tonight? Is it raining too? Uh, tonight, mm, uh, it, it wasn't raining. Only, only yesterday. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I, I was asking because I know that in some cities of the country, it's raining a lot. So, oh. I, I, yeah. I hope that the weather doesn't affect the connection. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. In your city, it is it was it was it raining? It was raining uh, like some minutes ago. It just started <laughs> raining around seven p.m. So right now oh. it's raining, but a little, just a little mm. bit. One hour oh, yeah. ago it was like very heavy, but now it's it's just a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where where do you live, Jamie? In San Jose Villanueva, La Libertad. <laughs> ah, nice. So is it yes. near is it near to the beach? Yes, it's near. Uh, so in the um, for example, for the winter, the weather is 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 cool. Is it's a good, it's a good, but in the summer you feel that that you are you are in the beach. <laughs> <laughs> so hot. It's so hot. I imagine uh, yes. that. But in winter yes. it's great. In winter it's great because uh, there are uh, there are hills around. Mm, yeah, I imagine. All right, sounds good. <laughs> and right now? It's cool right now, or it's it, hot? It's normal. It's normal. It's mm. immediately. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All <laughs> right. Well, welcome to the class. Who else is there? Let's see. Very few. My gosh. Okay. I can see Nelson. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine, but things like like wants to rain. Yeah, right. Um, you yes. live in Sacatecoluca, you said, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It wants it wants rain. Yeah. Right now, okay. so I don't know if if I I have problem with the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. I I understand. So, Yes, but I waiting. I waiting because mm -hmm. maybe twenty min minutes ago, it seems like want to rain. Yeah, I imagine. Well, I hope it doesn't rain, and I hope you your connection works, and I hope you don't have problems with that. Okay. Yes, I, mm -hmm. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Well, and, and how was your weekend, Nelson? Mm, was was okay. All right. Could you rest? Uh, uh, on Saturday, I, I had to work. But yesterday, I... And certainly, I went to the beach yesterday. <gasps> oh, nice. What yes. beach did you go? Um, I went to Los Blancos Beach. Ah. This is like yes. Nice. Oh, you had a nice weekend. You deserve it. Very good for you. Thank All you, right. Teacher. Okay. Good. Anyone else? 
Did you go to the beach, everyone, or to any other place? Any interesting during the weekend? No? Anyone? Aha, uh -huh, Christian. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Yes. Uh, with a lot of work. <laughs> I imagine that. So what do you do during the weekend? Uh, I was I went to Salcuaticlan. Hmm. Where, where is that? Near from Aguachapan, I think, or Apaneca. All or right. Mm -hmm. All right. Was it good? Yes, it was a good. Uh, how I can say climate? Weather. Weather, weather, good weather. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good for you. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. And is it raining in your city, Christian? No, right now it's, it's normal. Okay. It's a, a little hot. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live? In Chalchuapa City. All right. Santa Ana. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I always thought that Santa Ana was like very cold, like with a nice weather. I that's the, mm, the idea but, that I had. But it, in the city, it's not. It, it's it's hot. Really, in the city it's hot, but in the climb, for example, in some rural zones, are a, a good climb, a good weather. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good, sounds good. Well, I'm happy to see you everybody. Welcome to the class. Well, I'm happy to see you here, but only two people has the camera on, my gosh. And the other one, I want to see you guys. I missed you during the week. So welcome, welcome everybody. I hope you had a nice weekend. And I know that in some areas, in some cities, is it? I mean, it's it's raining a lot. So I hope all of you are okay, and I hope that the weather doesn't affect the connection. Okay. So welcome to the class. I can see Isabel now. Hello, Isabel. How are you? Hello. Good night. Good evening. How are you tonight? Very good, very good. Uh, a little, it's raining. It's raining. Yes, yeah, a little. Yes. Okay. All right. I I hope the weather doesn't affect the connection to any of you guys, because I know I know in some cities it's raining a lot. Well, the rest of you, I'm waiting for you to turn on the camera. Okay, I want to see you guys. We are going to start. And let me share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Right. So today is April 24th, everybody. And we are starting the last week. Okay. Basically, this is the week number five. And today we are going to start the unit number four. So basically, everybody, we only have five more days together, all right? Again, are you ready to move to intermediate four? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's the attitude. That's what I wanted to say, it, guy. Of course, teacher, we are more than ready, okay? So we are going to start this unit. Just a reminder, everybody, before Friday, the platform has to be done, okay? Unit number four and the last written exam, okay? So be careful with that. Now, do you remember the topics that we studied last week? Yes, Miss Casati. The Casati verb. Very good. Do you remember the Casati verbs, everyone? 
Yes. We shall make. Get. Uh -huh. Get. Get. Good job. Very good. Very good. I'm glad you remember it. Very good job. Okay, so tonight, this is the topic that we are going to check. We are going to talk about brand awareness and we are going to see some specific vocabulary. Also, we are going to have some extra practice and this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Volunteer. Yes, please, go ahead. Brand awareness vocabulary. Class objective. Acquire new vocabulary about brand awareness and discuss job interview question. Thank you. So we are going to see that vocabulary about brand awareness. And also we are going to have some interview questions. Okay, so the idea is to practice it, continue practicing asking questions, but now specifically when we are talking about a job interview. Okay, so again, let's see if you remember the causative. When we are talking about make, you know that we are talking about use the authority, uh, you force someone to do something, it's not a favor. All right, so basically you are forcing someone. Can you tell me the structure that you need? And someone and verb in the base form verb. Ah, very good. Exactly like that. So remember when we are using Causative with make, we only need the verb in the base form. What is the difference with uh, between make and get? Anyone? Do you remember? You can you can use the uh, with get when you use get. You can you you have to add the the preposition in the structure. Okay. So I don't need the verb in the base form. It has to be the infinitive form. Infinity form, sorry. Infinity. Exactly, very good. And if I use get, is because I'm forcing someone, I'm using the authority? No. So? For permission. Can you repeat? Get is for permission. For permission, are you sure? Miss convince get get is convince or yes is convince. convince. Yes, that is the one. So when you use get, the difference between get and make make is you force someone you use the authority. But get is a little bit different. Get is basically when you convince someone, you basically um, can say, please, okay? You are even begging for someone to do something. And as your classmate said, in this scenario, you need infinitive. That means that you need to put the preposition to before the verb. Nice job. Okay. Do you remember what was the other verb in the causative verbs? Help. Help, very good. So help is easy, right? When you aid someone to do something. What is the structure that we need? We can use the both for Both? So infinitive both and the Ah, that is correct. Excellent job. So remember, when we use help, as your classmate said, we can use both. If you want to use the base form of the verb, great. If you want to use the infinitive verb, great. You can use both. Excellent. What is the difference between help and let? 
Let is a permission. And help is help. <laughs> <laughs> and help is help. And help is help. <laughs> exactly. Look, let is to give permission. All right. You are not using the authority. You are not uh, begging. You are not helping. You are just giving the permission to someone to do something. And what is the structure that I need? Let. Uh -huh. uh, somebody and the basic for. Ah, very good. So in this case, we don't need infinity. <laughs> so in this case, everybody, just remember, we basically only use infinitive with get and with help if you want to. The rest, basically, we are just using the verb in the base form. Clear this topic? Yeah. Clear, everybody? Yes. Like a car, I would say, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Carago, like, <laughs> like tamarindo juice, my gosh. <laughs> okay, no. we, are going, we are going to do an exercise, but before that exercise, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Percentage. Very good. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Jasmine. Okay. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Gabriel. Okay. Hector Francisco. Hector Francisco is not here. Okay. Isabel Hernandez. Excellent. Ivan Guzman. Oh, I think he's listener. Sorry. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Excellent. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay, very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado, Selvin Adonai, okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good job. Okay, everybody, we are going to have a quick practice about the causative verbs. In this moment, because you already know the structure, the purpose for these sentences it's not to write the correct structure, but the correct verb. I want you to try to understand the intention of each sentence. For example, look at the number one. I never, da -da 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 -da, my children play video games after school. So you have to try to analyze the sentence and think. What is the intention in this sentence? Is about um, for someone to do something? Or is that about uh, convince someone to do something? Or the sentence is talking about helping? Or is that about giving permission? So what is the intention of this sentence? What do you think? I never, ta -da 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 -da, my children play video games after school. What is authority, the intention? Teacher. Authority or force? 
It's for permission. It's a permission. Mm, a permission, okay. authority. I think that the authority is, I never, <laughs> I never, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so exactly that's the idea. That's what I want you to think. So if you discover the intention, you will be able to identify what is the correct verb. So think about this. Hmm, what will be the best verb? I never make my children play video games after school. Or, ah, I never get my children play video games after school. Mm, I never help my children play video games after school. Or, I never let my children play video games after school. So, discover the intention of the sentence if you want to know what is the correct verb. Remember, don't get confused with make. I know that make, you are using the authority. Yes, it means that you force someone to do something. Get is you convince someone to do something. Let you give the permission to someone to do something and help you aid someone to do something. So let's find out what is the correct verb to complete these sentences. Make, get, let, or help, okay? Go ahead, everybody. Let's complete the sentences. If you have a question, just let me know. Imagine that this is an exam, so try to get the correct answers. Go ahead. If you have a question, just let me know. I want you to try to understand the intention. That's what I need tonight. Read carefully, read carefully. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Breathe carefully. Remember, 
aquí, I'm going to give you a help. Remember that if you use make in a sentence, you can substitute make for obligate. So for example, instead of saying, I make my kids to take a shower, for example, you can say, ah, I obligate my kids. Get, you can change it for beg or convince. Ah, I convince my kids to take a shower. Okay, you can switch the words because they are synonyms. Let, you can substitute it to give permission. Instead, ah, I let my kids to take a shower or, ah, I gave the permission to my kids to take a shower. And help, you can substitute it for aid. I aid my children to take a shower, okay? Those are some keywords that you can substitute. If you substitute them for those words and it still makes sense, so, that can help you, okay? Are you ready or not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, no worries. I will give you more time. Uh -huh, everybody, you have two more minutes. Two more minutes. Try to identify the intention of each sentence. I will ask you randomly one by one. So please, I want to everybody do that. Everybody do the activity, please.
All right, all right. You ready? Finished? Okay, let's find out the first one. Let's see, did you finish the first one, everybody? In the first one, what do you think is the correct answer? I never make, I never get, I never let, or I never help. Let. Never let. Never let, yes. are you sure? Yes. 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 Why? We sorry. Why? Why do you think that is let? What would be what will be the translation in the sentence if I use let? Nunca dejo. Ah, very good. So, yo nunca dejo que mis niños jueguen video games after school, right? So basically, um, be careful, be careful with the microphones. Basically, everybody, we are saying, I never give the permission, right? That's what we are saying. So if you wrote let, that is the correct answer. That is the correct intention. Very good job. How about the number two? The police. Made. 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 Why? Because it's an obligation or, ah. or force. They have the authority. The police can obligate you to pay for the damage. Can they obligate you? Yes. yes. Absolutely. So in this case, the correct answer is made. We say made because if you see the verb is the past. In past. The past. So that's why we say made. The police made him pay for the damage he caused. So if you write made, that's a correct answer. Very good job. Okay, number three. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me teacher, when I when when my car broke down, my wife helped help my drivers. Okay, my wife helped me help me drive hers. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Help, but, but did pass or because the car broke down. Okay, some of you say helps, some of you say help. Okay, but everybody, do you agree? Is that the correct verb? Which is let I, me. I yes. broke let. Let me. Let. Okay, some of you think, some of you think that is let. Yes? Yes. Hmm. So everybody, what do you think? <laughs> let or help? I think that this let because they give me the um, permission. That. Yeah, yes. Yeah. She let me the permission to drive her, her car. Yes, and actually, everybody, this is the correct one. Okay. Oh. Why? Because remember. Try to substitute. Imagine in this case, what will be the translation? Cuando mi carro se arruina, right? ¿Qué pasa con mi esposa? Ella me ayuda a manejar el de ella, or ella me deja manejar el de ella. Mm. What do you think? If you use let me deja manejar el de uh -huh. ella. Exactly. Because when I use help, because I think that uh, she helped, she helped to to drive him, but it's not the correct. Is 
what happens is that, and, and you know what, your logic is right depending on the context. For example, if it says, for example, my wife helped me, para que tuviera sentido con help, en lugar de decir drive hers, tendría que decir drive me. Como diciendo, mi esposa me, me lleva, me conduce, okay. drives me. Okay. Ella me lleva a mí hacia algún lugar. All right? Okay. In that case, yeah. we could use... Help me. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. But in this, mm -hmm. in this case, she is not driving for me. She just give me her car. Yeah. So I can drive it. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And number four. I need a volunteer for the number four. Mm -hmm. Me teacher. Yes, please. Julia get her boyfriend to buy her a ring. All right. Get. What do you think, everybody? Do you agree? I agree. I agree. Okay. <laughs> Julia get her boyfriend to buy her a ring, but get only I, get. I... In past tense, Julia got yes. her boyfriend. Got. Oh, no. Actually, uh, in simple past, it sounds much better, right? So Julia convinced her boyfriend to buy her a ring, okay? If you wrote that one, that's the correct answer. Very good job. Excellent. Okay, in the number five, what do you think? What is the correct answer? Volunteer for reading the number five. Carry teacher. Sam, carry. Help. Sam, help me carry the grasses. Okay, in simple present or in simple past? Because if it is. Helped. Okay, helped. Okay, Sam helped me carry the grocery. Hmm, what do you think, everybody? Do you agree? I agree. Yes, but carry, I not remember that. Is it, is it in past carry, carry? Hmm, remember, carry. When, we, when we use these verbs, do I need the past form of the verbs or the base form? Oh, it's the base form, yeah. Yeah, that is the one. And yes, that's the correct one. If you wrote helped, yes. Yeah. Very good job. Number six, I need a volunteer, please. Uh, can I? Yes, please. Uh, let. <laughs> okay, but read, read the full sentence. Okay, when we were little, our parents used to let, let us Stay up late on Saturday. Okay, so everybody, she said let. How about you? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. I agree. Yes. yes. Actually, imagine yeah. we can substitute. For example, we can say when we were little, our parent used to give us the permission, right? To stay late up. Uh, on Saturdays. Very good job. If you wrote let, that is the correct answer. Nice job, everybody. You are doing great. You are doing great. Okay, number seven. I need a volunteer. Only one, please. Me. Me. Oh, sorry. Okay, Christian, go ahead. This exercise can help you understand those verbs better. Okay, he say help. Everybody, do you agree? Help. Yeah. Help. Helps or help. What do you think, everyone? Do I need the letter help. S? No. no. Why not? Okay, 
the next one is you, then to go. In this mm -hmm. case, if pay attention here, if I talk about this exercise, mm -hmm. mm, that gives me the idea exercise is only one, right? So you might think, ah, so that is singular, is third person, so I need to say helps, but the key is the word can. Let's go back to the beginners topics. When I use can, the verb after can needs changes, yes or no? No, no, no. Change. never. Can is a model. So it doesn't uh, need the letter S. So for example, if I say she can drive, is that correct? Mm -hmm. No. No, right? It doesn't matter if it is third person, I don't need changes in the verb if I'm using can. So in this case, this exercise can help. Just that, okay? So that is the correct answer. Nice job. Okay, the last one. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Only one. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. Magdalena, I cannot hear you. Sorry, teacher, I'm confused. Give me a second, please, All for right. the world first. <laughs> okay, okay. Did anyone answer this question? The last one? Imagine the scenario. When they arrive yes, at make. the camp, make. Are you sure? Yes, when, yes. when they arrive at the camp, they make the children take off their dirty clothes and take a bath. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, everybody? Yes. Yes. Yes, <laughs> actually is correct. Very good job. So basically they obligate them to take off their dirty clothes and then take a bath. <laughs> Very good job. So everyone, this is an exercise about causatives. More than learning the structure I need you to learn the intention, okay? So we cannot use make all the time. Or no, yo siempre voy a usar let because let is easier. We can't, okay? So more than memorize the structure, I want you to learn to identify the intention for each verb. Okay, so I want you to memorize that let is when you give permission. Make uh, is because you are forcing someone to do something. When you use get in this scenario, is because you are convincing someone to do something. And help, you know that. You are aiding someone to do something. You are giving your hand to someone. Okay, so I need you to check and understand the meaning, the intention for each of this. Is it clear, everybody? Easy or difficult, the exercise? Uh-huh. 50-50, difficult, piece of cake. It's a little difficult. All right. Difficult. A little difficult. So listen, uh, I know that you listen to music in English, right? So now when you listen to music, I don't know what kind of music do you listen, but I want you to try to understand the intention of the singer. Okay, try to understand why the singer says those things. 
don't just listen to the music. Ah, yeah, it's nice. Okay, but try to understand what they are saying. Because, um, I don't know, have you ever listened to a song that you liked? But when you translate it or when you paid attention to the song, you discover oh, that it has a message. Totally oh, surprising. Have you ever listened to a song like that? Even in Spanish. ¿Alguna vez han escuchado una canción en español que nunca le prestan atención a la letra? And when you paid attention, you are like, oh, uy, lo que dice esta canción. <laughs> yes? Have you ever listened to something like that? Yes. yes. So the same happens in English. So try to understand the intention of the singer, okay? Try to understand why they say those phrases and that is going to help you to identify the intention of the verbs. Because if you see make can has different meanings depending on the context let help god i mean they can change their meanings depending on the context depending on the intention and that is the main importance in this topic okay so don't look at this topic like ah yeah very easy the structure mm -mm. that is not the main goal the goal is understand the intention Okay, so keep in mind that and remember everybody eh, on the group, WhatsApp's group, I send you a list of the verbs, eh, not all the verbs, but at least the most common one that are followed by infinitives, by gerunds and both. So try to study the list that is going to help you a lot. Okay, any question about the casatives, everybody? No questions? You sure? Okay. Well, if you don't have questions, let's move on. Let's see the topics that we have for today. Let's talk about brand awareness. But I need to see if you remember. What's brand awareness? Do you remember? What is that? What is brand awareness? Tell me, everyone. I remember that is when people remember the brand. When people remember the brand. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other idea? When people recognize the brand. When people recognize the brand. All right. Remember the brand, recognize the brand. Those are good ideas. Any other one? Brand awareness. Uh huh. What else? What else? What comes to your mind when you see brand awareness? What words comes to your mind when you see brand awareness? Uh huh. Hmm. Okay, I can see not everybody remembers that we started this vocabulary some days ago. Differentiation. Okay, sounds good. Another hmm. words? Okay, brands awareness, as your classmate said. When the customer can identify or recognize the brand, right? And when they remember the brand, when they know the existence of this brand, this is brand awareness, okay? When you know about the product, when you know about these brands. So for example, if I show you, oops, sorry. Uh, let's see, if I show you mm, mm, this logo, do you recognize that logo? 
Facebook. Ah, <laughs> Facebook, right? Immediately you recognize the name of the brand. Immediately you know what the name is, what is that brand about, okay? So that is brand awareness. And there are different strategies that companies use to keep awareness of their products. And that is basically what we are going to be talking about tonight, okay? So we are going to read a conversation. I will need two volunteers for reading. Uh-huh, who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Pamela. Who else? And Magdaleno, thank you. All right, let me share the conversation. Pamela, you will be Celia. Magdaleno, you will be Lucas, okay? So pay attention everybody because later we are going to answer some questions. Go ahead. I just discovered this new brand of Cinnabon soda. It's delicious, but when I visit, visit their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It is probably an unknown brand. Uh, simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when they are launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand, these brands, and their image and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to take people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good. Thank you, guys. So what is the product that we are talking about in this conversation? Cinnamon soda. Cinnamon soda. Interesting product, right? Yeah. So let's answer these questions. Remember, this information is on your manuals, everyone. So what happens to this product? Why is cinnamon soda not so popular as Coca-Cola and Pepsi? What happens? Mm -hmm. Lucas said because people don't recognize the cinnamon soda because no one knows about that. So do you think that this product has brand awareness? Yes or no? Don't. They no. don't, no. right? They don't have brand awareness because as your classmate said, people, they don't recognize the product. Some people, I mean, they don't even know that this product exists. Okay, very good job. Volunteer for reading the question number two, please. Can I, Tisha? Yes, please, go ahead. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Thank you. So. Do you know and or do you remember what is the meaning of launch? Launch a new product? Lanzamiento. Exactly. So before, imagine that you have a product, you are going to launch the product to the supermarket. Okay. What is an important step that you need to consider when you launch the new product? What do you need to do first? The brand you have of the to, Do you need brand? Of the product. Uh-huh. What else? 
You have to do advertisement. Very good. So imagine, what does the company do when they have a new product? Before they send the products on the supermarkets, what do they do? They land, I mean, they send a lot of advertisements everywhere on TV, on social media, even on signs in the streets, right? So one of the most important steps to consider when launching a product is basically to raise brand awareness, okay? That people know the product. So when they know the product, they will buy the product, okay? Nice job. Okay, volunteer for reading the question number three, please. Could I try to check? Yes, please, go ahead. What is Luca's recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Mm -hmm. According to the reading, what is the recommendation? What can we do in order that this product get more popular, get more sales? What do you think? What can we do? Luca said what the owners of the pros have to create our uh, brand awareness. Mm -hmm. Very good. So they have to create brand awareness. And how can we create brand awareness? Everyone, do you have any idea? How can we create brand awareness? What do you think? It's important to know the four P's. Ah. Piece of marketing, for example, place or um, product. product, price, and and all the letters piece. Yes. <laughs> Promotion. Remember Promotion. the letter? Yeah. That is the one. Very good. Yeah, that's a nice idea. Excellent. So everybody, remember all the topics are connected. So I want you to try to remember all the topics, all the words that we had been studying. Okay. Don't forget it, please. Very good. Okay. Now I have some questions. Imagine that you have a company, okay? Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? For example, should small companies, imagine that you have a small company. I mean, is that a good idea to invest money in some advertisement, publicity, things that can help you to increase your brand awareness? Is that a good idea? Yes or no? What do you think? Depends uh -huh. uh, depend, uh, the target that they have a, of marketing, maybe. It's a small business. Maybe they don't have a lot of money or maybe they can, maybe they can uh, awareness by social media, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good point. Imagine small business, as your classmates say, maybe they cannot afford to pay like a big publicity campaign. Hmm. And you guys, what do you think? Just imagine that you have your own business. Is that a good idea to invest money on brand awareness, publicity, all those stuff? What do you I think? think that I think that everyone who is um, investing in a new business have to should have to choose it correct. No. Have I'm to <laughs> have to raise in brand awareness. Everyone have to. Because if people don't know your product, they don't will they don't or right. no, they won't they won't buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, it's a good idea, right? Maybe not everybody can do it. Not all the companies spend a lot of money, right, on publicity, but definitely is a good idea. 
So, think about this. Can you name some strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Imagine right now, I say, okay, guys, I have Insafor classes. This is for free. I want people learn English. The classes are online and the classes are at night. What I don't have is students and the classes are for free. How can I do it? What strategies can I use in order to increase my brand awareness? I want to give classes in, uh, for free. So what can I do? Can you name some strategies? Promotion in the company, maybe. Promotion in the companies, what do you mean? What can I do that? For their employment, for their, yeah. because the, the INSA for program is for, for employment in the company, for improve the, not English, not only English, math or others, Excel, mm -hmm. other, others. Tools, skills. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. skills, yes. Okay, so do you think that I should go to some specific companies and present the program? No specific company. For Facebook, for example. All right. For me, social media, they social can media. publicity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, we got the first strategy. We have publicity on social media. Nice. Okay, everybody, another idea. How can I attract students? I need the students for Insafor classes. What can I do? I think, I think that this, um, I think that depends of your vision. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can say is, is um, every strategy depends about people who want to reach. For example, if you want people, if you want, if you want people for uh, presential classes and people who is not with presence in, in social media, you have to visit the company. If you have uh, to reach, if you have to reach, it's correct. <laughs> if, if you have to reach uh, people for classes online, like like this, you can post announcements in social media because people who is in social media is um, is can is who can believe in these courses. All right, actually that's something important that we have to consider. When we think about strategies or brand awareness, as your classmates said, we need to think, who is my target audience? What kind of people do I want to attract? For example, if you want to attract, imagine that you have a product and you want to attract seniors, I'm talking about people in their 70s, 80s, okay, 80 years old. Is that a good idea to promote the product on social media? No. Why not? Or what is the best option for people like that? Maybe newspaper or TV. <laughs> nice. <laughs> because, exactly. yeah. Because the people, no, because the people uh, at this age, or they are not using the social media. Correct, exactly. So when you want to increase your brand awareness, it's not only to send the publicity wherever you want. You have to consider your audience because not everybody has Facebook. Not everybody use Instagram or YouTube, okay? So very nice point of view. So keep in mind that, okay? Now, 
We are going to answer some questions related to warrant uh, awareness. In this moment, I want you to talk, everybody, okay? These questions are not so difficult, but I need you to give me a nice answer. Try to give me as many details as possible, okay? Look at the question number one. Can you think of a television advert, I mean, advertisement, which was very successful. Can you think of a TV commercial that for you was like, wow, was very successful. So why do you think this commercial was successful? Why did it work? Can you remember one? Uh-huh. Teacher? Yes. Tipo cook. cook. Not remember. <laughs> Not really. It's very, very old. It's a, it's a song. It was a song. Uh -huh. Very, very. ¿Cómo sería pegajoso? It's sticky. <laughs> okay. It's sticky? Yes. Uh, a lot, lot. Galletas tipo. Mm. I mean, I remember the product, but I don't remember the TV commercial. I mean, yes, I remember the, the TV is, is the, the song that they love. Guys. Yeah. A couple of guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, he he gave a cookie uh, uh, at the girl. Uh -huh. I remember, teacher. So imagine, okay, that is a very nice television advert. So why did it work? Maybe because of the song. It was a nice song. So that's it why is, it's it a was love accepted. history. Uh -huh, love it history. Was a love history, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I agree, Mirna. It's I, a boyfriend and girlfriend that the, the, the boyfriend say I have to tengo que lograr que vuelva I, conmigo. I have, to, I have to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I remember. <laughs> All right, so imagine, why did it work? Because of the song and because of the story. Mm -hmm. That story, you feel identified with the feelings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. With the mm -hmm. emotion, excellent. Okay, can you think on another television advert, everyone on TV that catches to your attention? What do you think? Teacher, I remember um i think there is there was a a, a tv commercial in on the radio too mm -hmm. um, the um, bacaolinita <laughs> and well, I this, don't remember that. <laughs> the song is very is very is very sticky like mm -hmm. like actor says i don't know if that the correct word but i think we remember that little song and the, <laughs> and the and the kids uh, singing the song that's true now if you want to say como una canción pegajosa pegadiza you can say instead of sticky you can say oops can you see what i'm sharing no yes no 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 teacher sorry i don't know what happens okay sorry so you can say catchy oops Catchy. So it, it so you can say this catchy. was a, a catchy song or a catchy tune, right? So catchy, that is a word. Catchy. This is in order to say like como una canción pegajosa, right? So imagine in this case, why that TV commercial was successful? Talking about La Bacalinita, right? It was because of the song. Interesting, very nice. Okay, now think about the question number two. This is about your job. Does your company use a slogan or as a part of advertising? What do you think? Uh -huh. 
Think about your company, the company you work for. Do they have a slogan or not? No? Okay, if they don't have a slogan, do you think that your company should have one? Should your company use a slogan, yes or no? Is that a good idea to use a slogan for a company? In my opinion, teacher, the slogan is, is the phrase um, that people remember. The slogan reminding, remind in the mind of the people the every day, every day. Like uh -huh. uh, don't I that we can live without radio? Did you remember that? <laughs> I do. Very yeah, good. This, the the slogan is so important. So everybody, can you remember some famous slogan from some companies or products? What do you think, teacher? Uh huh. Yeah, I remember that our slogan is "We are growing." For your company. Yes, we are Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Christian, do you think that slogan is important? Yes or no? Yes, yeah, I think that is important because when a customer read that, uh, it, it, uh, we think that it's true. Uh -huh. And it's important because we need that. Uh, a slogan is to give the solution of one of a lot of problems. Definitely. Of, uh, and actually, mm -hmm. as, as your classmate mentioned before, imagine a slogan is something that keeps in people's mind and that makes you different. That makes you unique. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure, Rosalina, do you have a question? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to talk about our slogan, mm -hmm. uh, building, building of the road. Building? Building of the road, Construyendo el Camino. Ah, nice. <laughs> I like that. So is that important to use a slogan, Rosalina? Yes, because uh, it's, the, it's a mission for the sport in El Salvador, mm -hmm. believe in the it's the best way for the younger people Very to take good. in their, their, their life. Yeah. Nice. Very good. So you see that slogan. Hector, go ahead. Yeah, teacher. Um, <clears throat> todavía estoy listening, pero me, me estoy poniendo la atención eh, y me surge la uh, in English. It's similar to hashtag, teacher, because mm -hmm. in my, my Company is not company. Oh okay. no, it's like an ONG. Have a hashtag is for la naturaleza for the. Well, no sé actually, qué. well, actually, they are similar. What happens is that slogan is the phrase, right? But remember that nowadays, because of the social media, is very common to use the hashtags. So, mm. for example, in the case of Rosalina, right? Hashtag building the road. So mm -hmm. they are using the slogan, just putting in social networkings is now hashtag. But yeah, it's basically the same. Okay, and uh, it's very important because join with another another um, history or, or similar hashtag. Mm -hmm. maybe, um, uh, medio ambiente. Eh, eh, Ministerio de Medio Ambiente, like uh, Ministerio de Agricultura, a lot, a lot similar eh, person or, or company or institution, instituciones, uh, institutions, institution, eh, care de la naturaleza, ¿cómo es? Nature, care, environment, environment, environment or nature. Environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This reason is very important. Have a this slogan is uh, short and very very strong. I think 
Very good. That's totally correct. Excellent. So everybody, let's discuss these questions with your classmates. Okay, we are going to try to do it a little bit fast because we don't have a lot of time. So again, I'm going to send these questions on WhatsApp's group and I want you to talk. Remember, the idea is to practice speaking. During the weekend, we weren't here in the class. Some of you didn't speak English out of the class, only here. So this is a moment to practice speaking. If there is a word that you don't know how to say it, you know what to do, dictionary, okay? Uh, if there is a structure or a phrase that you don't know what to say it, if there is a question that you don't understand exactly what it is trying to say, dictionary, okay? Don't keep it like, ah, yes, I will say it in Spanish. No, okay? Always dictionary, okay? Let me open up the groups, just a moment. And in this moment, everyone, zero Spanish, please. Okay, let's see. Okay, very good. Let's go to practice the questions. Let's go. And I want to everybody enter to the groups. I don't want anyone here in the main room. Everybody enter, please. Let's go. Teacher, I love my question. Sorry? I love my question. When I put, when I pick my, my screen, lost my invitation to, oh, to Okay, let me try to, to send it again. Group. Let me try to send it again. Give me a sec. Can you see it now? Okay. If you want, I can read uh, the first. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you think? Hello, Jamie. I just, I just. Hello. I, just, hello. <laughs> I know, I know. In this moment, I'm sending you someone to join you. No worries. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, but I can see you are only two. I'm going to send more people to this team. No worries. Okay. okay. I'm going to send you uh, to Pamela and I'm going to send oh. Christian. So you can practice with them. Oh, Pamela is here. Christian is here. Okay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Elena. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Okay. Oh, hello, we, everybody. We were, we were talking about with Christian uh, of the first question. Uh, that can you think about? Uh, a television advert which was very successful and why did it work? I was saying, Christian, that I remember the advertising of Bacaolinita, like I say in the class, but I think the, um, the advertising of Coca-Cola um, that was very successful because uh, they connect a lot with the emotions of people, like the joy, happiness, and all things like that. I don't know what do you what do you think? I, I think the same. That. Yeah, it's very good. That's cool. Hey, did you remember one of the and cover all all kind of people? Is the pen the target that you have to your product? To cover? Your brand. Yes, but for me, yes, is is good. It's very successful. Yes, I think it's for all all business because. This form 
Eh, no. Es como... The almost people use the social media. Uh, maybe Facebook, maybe Twitter, maybe TikTok. Yes. It, yes. Uh, I think that it, that the better the better option social media. But social media is more is more teenagers or no? yes. Uh -huh. And television is for out. <laughs> uh, I think, I think. Television that, is uh, for old. <laughs> yes, for old. Yes. 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 Television is, is expensive. Yes. And yes. social media. Yes, it's the pending target that you have for the or your marketing or your advertising. Yeah, it's, it's a, a small company. You have to. You yes, have but to. Social, social media, you can, you can launch or show your product or your brand and free, for free. But did you, if you launch on TV, your, your brand, you have to pay it. Yes, in social media you have to pay, but it's not expensive because you have to pay for for the target that you you cover. But it's not expensive. Yeah, if you compare TV and, and Facebook or Instagram, yes, TV is 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 very expensive. The the advertising on TV. Yes. But it depends the company the <laughs> the. The, the target and the, and the target or the yeah. money that you have to for marketing the budget yes. that you have for marketing okay okay number two number two <laughs> okay number two say does your company use a slogan as a part of of its advertising if not, so they use. Um, what do you say? Uh, Mágico González. <laughs> Yo digo que el buki. El buki, why? <laughs> why el buki? Ah, <laughs> Holman. It's oh. a classic. <laughs> for your company? It's a classic for the, for the moms. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you... You sell beers. <laughs> uh, maybe nah. have a bar. <laughs> no, it's, it's you have a bar. <laughs> oh, music. <laughs> uh, do you like music? Uh, Mom, music. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Isabel, what do you think about it? Are you there? Isabel? No, I think Isabel work sell sell uh, maybe, maybe. because turn off the, the microphone right now. Um, okay, Hector. Yapa. Then Leonardo DiCaprio for you. Leonardo DiCaprio because he's uh -huh. very close to the environment protect. Okay. Uh huh. Carlos Elibardo Sarano. I don't know. Maybe listener. Okay, number five. Number you five. Think, uh, number mm -hmm. five. Uh, do you think <laughs> online advertising works or are all the adverts just anonymous? What is the meaning? I don't understand this, this question. Neither. Do you think online adverts? Me neither. Okay. I'm going to explain that one. Okay. Please. Please. Okay, do you think online advertising works? For example, when you are on YouTube, you are watching a video and suddenly, poof, yes. <laughs> appears mm. an advertisement, right? So do you think that for the company, those advertisement works? People say, hey, that's a nice product. I want it. 
<laughs> or know. it's just annoying and people say i know another advertisement i just want to watch my video so what do you think those types of advertisements are useful or not what do you think mm -hmm. i got it think about your experience as customers have yes. you ever bought a product that you saw on youtube no maybe <laughs> only only in brand position because uh, you in, in the one to second you read the, the number you see the number and then only that because i put omit the <laughs> <laughs> omit the, the the ad exactly advertising, but say one or two seconds <laughs> yeah. okay so how about you everyone what do you think I think if, if if I I really like the the video or the creator, ¿cómo se el creador de content creator content? Content creator. Like uh, I don't know if you if you are about the chombo. The what? Chombo. chombo. Yeah. Chombo. chombo. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. is, is this from Panama City? Yes, it's so funny. Yeah. Uh, it's very funny. Uh, Maybe you see him, Miss the Chombo. Okay, I mm -hmm. will try, yes, but because... I, I, do, I don't know him. <laughs> okay, but if uh, because I like the 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 content content, mm -hmm. my, I I I can support support <laughs> support the advertising in in the mm -hmm. in the video, but mm -hmm. if another video i don't like uh maybe close the video i, I think wow. it's not good idea <laughs> sorry okay. for my dog so no worries so when the video is good you say okay i'm going to watch the advertisement but if the video is not good just say i know i won't continue watching uh -huh. forget <laughs> okay Holman, what do you think? Uh, well, I think when I like the the YouTuber or the the creator uh, content creator, uh, I think it's 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 okay when the 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 person uh and uh talk about a product it's it's okay but a little bit just a little bit no no much 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 time i talk about the the, the product i think uh I, I think with a little bit time to talking about a uh advertising <clears throat> it's it's okay mm -hmm. but if if i like the 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 youtuber or the creator content okay yes I, I think nice so basically yeah. i think that is not so good idea right people consider that maybe most of the time is just annoying mm -hmm. nice okay very good continue please yeah. you're doing great okay now control or manage uh, certain companies yeah. it's important too have you have you ever heard about about digital stores? Have you ever heard about that? Digital stores. Yes. Digital stores. Yes. Or, or like online, online. 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 Yes. Online is, yes. yes. How about that? Yes. Good. I have a, 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 I have a, a, a online store. I have one too. Really? What <laughs> yes. do you have? <laughs> I, I, I sell tracks, for example. I made some tracks for our group in the church and I what do sell you, it. What do you sell? 
tracks or a, a kind of music, for example. Ah, you said yeah. tracks. Mm -hmm, tracks or multi-tracks or some audio, audio that I made in the computer. And I say, oh, I can sell it. If someone need it, can download it free, some tracks or buy in some what, another. In what platform do you have your online store? Uh, what time or what? In what platform? In in uh, Facebook? No, I, <laughs> I don't know. I believe that is a, is a page online. Or uh -huh. how yes. I don't know. Yes, I, I made it in WordPress, for example. Ah, okay. WordPress with WooCommerce. And it's like a page. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> In, 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 in but, Facebook, for example, I have my page and I, I did some advertising there. You the do past, marketing yeah. for yourself. Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You, you know a lot of marketing strategies. But uh, I, don't have, I don't know how to say empirical. Empirical. What? Empirical that I learned by myself in YouTube ah. or videos. You okay. can say empirical. Empirical. Empirical, empirical knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> empirical knowledge. The practice, the practice is always better than the university. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the real life is better. In my opinion, the, the online stores it will be the most in the future. Almost time, people is in, in social media. And then you have to sell them through the social. Through is ads in the language. Through the social media. Yes. Yes, I think now every even if it's a small business they have um, a online store in their whatsapps or in their government or not Fatim? sir is is the is the government or not the company is not for the government or is a private company it's a private Mm -hmm. Oh, company. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's just the strategy. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And you see number four? <laughs> or no? Or do you see it's a listener, no? Hey. Uh -huh. Are you sick, Lucy? Yes, I was sick. Oh, the, sorry. The week, I was I was sick in the weekend, but I'm okay right now. Thank you. Uh, okay. And number okay. four, if you had to choose a celebrity to endorse your company, what will you choose? <laughs> I don't have to choose. I, <laughs> I think. I did, I think this is a marketing decision. <laughs> and I I think the maybe the company will be contract a uh, very popular um person at this time. <laughs> it's something something like a um soccer celebrity or something that is related to to sports i think that is because the um the product that we that we sell in the company okay time's up we are going to go back to the main room Let's wait for everybody to go back to the main room. 
Time's up, time's up. Let's go back, let's go back. All right, time's up, everyone. All right. Okay, very good. Welcome back. How was the practice? Easy or difficult, the questions? Interesting. Ah, very good. Extends. <laughs> <laughs> I know that these questions gives you the opportunity to talk a lot, yes. right? Some groups were um were talking a lot in only one question. <laughs> so good job, good job. What do you think? Was it easy, everybody, to answer the questions? Did you find the words to answer the questions? Yes? No? It was, it so, was so. the difficult part. Mm -hmm. Find the, the word what I need to speak about <laughs> like, about some ideas. It is mm. the difficult part. Some, sometimes we lose our ideas in our mind and we love the word. <laughs> I know. And that's why I picked these kind of questions. Okay? Because I want you to think in questions that are not so common. I mean, not every day we answer this type of questions, right? So that's, the, that's what I want. That's why I chose this type of questions because it's something that you have to think, you have to analyze in a, how can I answer this, right? Because that is the purpose for this level. I want you to try to one, learn vocabulary, and two, remember, if you don't know the word, dictionary, okay? So that's the idea, and you are doing a great job. I was listening to your answers, and I like that. You sound very confident. I mean, it was a nice conversation. You were giving details. And the things that I love the most is that today when I enter to all the groups, I didn't listen to Spanish. I love that. So you are doing a great job, everybody. You are improving a lot. So you are definitely ready to the next level. I like that. Now, little details that you have to consider. Um, for example, that is the better option. Hmm. What do you think? Is that correct, this sentence? That is the better option. Is the best option. Ah, thank you. Remember, better is when you are comparing. But in this case, you are not comparing. You are giving a superlative sentence. So instead of better, you have to say best. Okay, that is the best option. And be careful because this is a mistake that I listen to in so many groups, not in only one person, okay? Be careful. Better is when you compare. For example, a Real Madrid is better than Barcelona, okay? We Barcelona. So this is an example how we can use better, okay? We are comparing, but the best is superlative. We are not comparing to anyone. Got it? Yes? Good. Next yes. one. It depends the company. Hmm. Is this sentence correct? What do you think? Maybe depends of. Depends of the company? Hmm. Actually, it's not of, but it's very close. We use on. It depends on the company. Ah, it depends 
on the person. It depends on the weather. Okay, so the preposition that we use is on. In Facebook, can I say that? In Facebook, yes or no? Uh, hi, somebody, somebody asked me uh, a few months ago on Facebook. Are you on Facebook? Ah, so what is the preposition? Some. So on. look on prepositions, everybody. If you don't remember, you have to review the prepositions at, on, and in. Okay specifically when we are talking about place. If we are talking about platforms, websites, so we always use on, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. We always use on, okay? Now, I listen to this phrase <laughs> in some groups, Se me traba la lengua, right? <laughs> Remember, we cannot say that in Spanish. So my tongue gets stuck, <laughs> okay? This is basically like a little translation, right? So my tongue gets stuck when I'm trying to say that word. I don't know how to say that word. My tongue gets stuck, okay? So I don't want to listen to that phrase in Spanish anymore. Very good. So we are going to move on, everybody. Before continue talking about it, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego, are you there? Okay. Christian Alexander. Present, teacher. Very good. Erica. Okay. Um, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Oh, he, he's not here. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Oh, he's listener. Sorry, sorry. Jamie Raquel. Jamie Raquel. Okay. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdalena Escalante. Present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay, Selvin Adonai. Okay, and Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, everyone, so let's continue. Now, we are going to stop talking a little bit about brand awareness. And now let's think about jobs interviews, okay? We don't have a lot of time, so this topic we are going to continue it, studying it tomorrow, okay? Job interview. Have you ever had a job interview, everyone? Yes? No? Yes, a pair of times. <laughs> Was it easy? Difficult? Difficult. I remember I was so nervous. All right. And the rest of you? Yes, I have a uh, English English interview. Uh -huh. and, and I so nervous too. <laughs> don't, okay. Don't speak in the in the interview. You didn't speak. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Imagine everyone, think about your entire lives. How many job interviews have you had? 
Mm, do you think five? Ten? More than oh, ten? Maybe five. Five, okay. Just three. Three, all right. And the rest of you, everyone? Just one. Just one, okay. Anyone else? Do you remember how many jobs interviews have you had? More than five, but I don't remember exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I have so, a lot, teacher. A lot of jobs interviews. A lot of, mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Good experience with, with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So tell me, everyone, have you ever gotten a job where you didn't even have an interview? It's like you didn't have a, the interview. You just got the job. <laughs> yes or no? Mm -hmm. Never? Have you ever done any jobs without an interview? No, never? Uh, I, I do. Uh, yes, I am. No, never. Okay. So, Hector, what do you say? Yes. I, uh, in my case, yes. Uh -huh. I remember with a, a red cross, blue rock. Okay. The red cross. Um, uh, only, only, only one third. Um, only me. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, go to the, the uh -huh. uh, no 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 uh, the competition uh huh so not an interview you just got there and the job is yours <laughs> hey, you like me come on <laughs> <laughs> sounds good okay good for you now some of you mentioned that you feel or you felt nervous during the interviews. Some interviews were difficult. Okay. What do you find difficult in an interview? What is the aspect that makes you feel nervous? What do you think? Every the last question, how many money do you want <laughs> One get and uh, and uh, it's, 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 it's a trick. trick. It's, a, it's a tricky question. Definitely. It's a tricky question mm -hmm, because if you say uh, a lot of money, <laughs> the, the boss, no, the, the future boss, uh, mm -hmm. think, oh, no, I can't pay for you. But, <laughs> hey, yeah, low money? No, do you, you, you don't have experience or maybe you don't uh, have a... Mm, idea about idea uh -huh, about, about, about the job, this, this job. <laughs> it's a it's a question very very difficult for for answer mm -hmm. okay that's a good aspect okay what else anyone else what aspects do you find difficult on an interview i remember a question why do you what do you want to work with us ah I want to say I need work for pay my bills. <laughs> I, I just need the money, right? Yes. I'm I don't interested in you. <laughs> yes, I am interested in my bills. I don't interested in you, but I don't know what I can I have to ask. <laughs> That's another interesting question, right? Because let's be honest. <laughs> Why do you want to work for us? Ah, because of the money, of course. That is one of the main reasons for everyone. Mm, good aspect. What else? Any other question, everyone, or something that you find difficult in interviews? Teacher. Uh huh. First Nelson okay. and then Mirna. <laughs> Maybe when they ask you for a, a try out. Okay. Like a can I, they when they ask you, you can do it. That Yes, I can do. Okay, show me. Ah, definitely. That's true. That's that's difficult. And imagine you have to be honest because if you say yes <laughs> and they say, okay, show me, and you are like, eh, no, <laughs> right? That's true. That's something very difficult. Okay, Mirna, how about you? 
when they say three negative thing that you have or 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 thing that you can improve for example the yeah. weakness yeah the weakness <laughs> yeah imagine it's difficult to think in three positive aspects of ourselves now imagine the negatives i mean if you say i don't like to work <laughs> come on <laughs> right i don't want to wake up early my gosh <laughs> So yeah, that's a very difficult question too. Okay, that's what we are going to talk about. We are going to check some vocabulary. The idea was to practice a listening and to have a role play, but the time won't be enough. So this is something that we are going to continue tomorrow. But let's check some vocabulary. These are vocabularies related to jobs interview. I want you to match the vocabulary to the definitions, okay? So we got, for example, application. Oops, sorry, sorry. We got application. Application is a noun. I want you to read the definitions and I want you to tell me what is an application. I'm going to give you everyone five minutes to match the vocabulary to the answers. Okay, to the definitions. And then we are going to see if you have the correct answers. Five minutes. If you find a word that you don't know what the meaning is, let me know and I will uh, help you with that. Go ahead, you have five minutes. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Read carefully, everyone. Read carefully the definitions. If you find a word that you don't know what the meaning is, tell me and I will help you with that. You have two more minutes. And then we are going to verify the answers. Two more minutes. Teacher, shadowing is is same to experience. Mm, shadowing is like 
I don't want to translate it. Um, for example, when you observe how to do something, okay? Shadowing is like observe, okay? For example, imagine if you... Um, like a bank, like a bank. When the, when the cashier have a other cashier next stand to, up, uh -huh. but, uh -huh, bag or next to her mm. or them. And basically the other person is just looking, learning yes. about what the process, how the process is. That is the meaning of shadowing. Shadowing. Yes. Okay. It's just like observe, look. Like a training or? It's like a what? Training? Yeah, oh. it's, it's part of a training. Remember because... that in the training, you have different steps. First, you learn the theory, then you learn the process, and then you have shadowing. In the shadowing, you observe. Yeah, I saw uh, uh, many people in supermarket. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Taking the, 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 the step, the... How do how do you do the process? Yeah, uh -huh. exactly, exactly. Uh, so that is the meaning of shadowing. Mm -hmm. Shadowing teacher is like uh, no when you have the know how or when you know when you have to to learn the know how in the company with other person or not is when you don't know how to do it and you have to learn how to do um, that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Basically, everyone, when you are learning, that is shadowing. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are learning the process, so you have to look to other person. For example, imagine that we had a new teacher, for example, and the teacher wants to learn how we can do the class. So the teacher is here, is saying nothing, just looking. So it's learning, for example. So that is shadowy. Okay, we don't have a lot of time. So let's see if the answers are correct. Let's start with application. I need a volunteer for reading the definition of application. What do you think? In my opinion, is the letter C. An application is a form that you complete to us to do a particular job. Okay, everybody, yes. do you agree? Yes. I agree? yes, I agree. Yes, correct answer. Very good job. Okay, number two, candidate, volunteer. What is the correct definition? Can Quickly, please. Sure? Yes, candidate please. is a person looking for a job. Correct. Very good. That is the one. It's a person that is looking for a job. Easy. CV. What is that? Me, teacher. Yes, please. An official document giving a history of the all the jobs you have done. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Definitely. That is the correct one. How about hire? What is that? Give Volunteer? Someone. Can you repeat? Give someone a job. Give someone a job. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, definitely. Now, volunteer qualification. What is that? Qualification. In my opinion, is the letter E. Okay. Yes. It's an exam that you have successfully passed. 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 What is the pronunciation? Passed. Passed to show you have a particular skills or knowledge about something. Very good. And actually, that is the correct one. Very good. For example, imagine that you have an English exam and you passed the exam. That means that you have that 
qualification, that you speak English. Nice job. Now, this is the noun, but I also have the adjective qualified. So what is qualified? Having the knowledge of her skill to do a particular job. Correct, excellent. Then we have shadowing. I already explained this one, but what is the definition? Age, a period of working a particular job to learn about how to do that job. Correct. So in this period, you are learning how to do the job. And the last one, easy advertisement. What is that? Mm -hmm. Look. Is, is that? Uh huh. A notice in the newspaper or online to tell people that a job is available. That's the one. Very good. Okay. Excellent, everybody. Good job with the matching. Now, tomorrow we are going to use this vocabulary. Okay, tonight we don't have more time, so we are going to continue tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to have the listening and the role play practice. So everybody, we don't have more time. Thank you so much for being in the class. Don't forget to work on the platform, please. You have to finish the platform on this week, okay? So everybody, have a beautiful night, have a rest, and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. See you.